Welcome back to our Vitalize Daily Devotionals. I'm Gemma and this week we are continuing the theme on the fruits of the Spirit and in particular how we cultivate the fruit of the Spirit goodness in our lives. I don't know about you but when I hear the word goodness it conjures up inside of me um, this feeling of trying to say and do the right thing always. But I know I'm going to mess up on this time and time again. But what I also know is that through my faith, through what Jesus did for me on the cross, through the grace that he extended me, that he forgives me for the times that when I mess up today, but that he also forgives me for those times that I'm going to mess up in the future. So why is it still so important to grow that fruit of the Spirit goodness in our lives? I've been reading the book of James, which is a letter written by Jesus's half brother to Christians everywhere, explaining that when we understand what Jesus did for us on the cross, our faith in him should transform our lives and that this will be seen in the way that we live. In James chapter 2 verse 14, it says, Dear brothers and sisters, what's the use of saying you have faith if you don't prove it by your actions? It then goes on in verse 15 and 16 to say, That kind of faith can't save anyone. Suppose you see a brother or sister who needs food or clothing and you say, Well, goodbye and God bless you, stay warm and eat well. But then you don't give that person any food or clothing. What good does that do? I'm encouraged then that if my faith in Jesus is genuine, that I can testify to all that he has done in my life, then my actions and the things that I say towards others should display that spirit of goodness that the Holy Spirit wants to cultivate in my life. I want to aspire to growing the goodness of God in my life, to become more like him, even though I know I'm not always going to get it right. Thanks for watching.